In 1981, Dr. Roberto Cruz opened a two-room university in Oakland, California. His response to a growing crisis involving Hispanics and education. Since that time, the National Hispanic University has been encouraging, engaging, and giving hope to thousands of students. We received a state, uh, a state authorization to grant degrees in 1981, and the dream was launched. In the mid-1980s, I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Roberto Cruz, and I said, that university belongs in San Jose. That, that university belongs in Silicon Valley. We would borrow the professors from Stanford, from UC Berkeley, and other campuses that would come at night and moonlight with us and teach the courses. Pride in the school, in its mission, and in the students it serves has played an important role from the beginning. This sense of pride has attracted support from every corner of our community, both public and private, from neighbors and friends, from near and from far. It came as no surprise when the National Hispanic University was rated among the top 25 nonprofit Hispanic organizations in the United States. The school presented its first bachelor's degrees in 1987. NHU then moved to San Jose in 1991. In 1994, it relocated to its modest campus on Story Road, formerly a grammar school. In that year, an event especially important to the school's mission occurred. NHU was approved to award teaching credentials. If you want to have meaning in your life, then associate yourself with causes that are bigger than yourself and themes that are beyond your time. And I believe teachers have that kind of distinction and uniqueness to their being. To be able to transmit knowledge to another person, to have faith that that person can go forward, to watch that touch a future generation is, in fact, touching the future and extending one's own influence into a very distant future. Um, so the National Hispanic University, by focusing as extensively as it does on education, is, is going to have uh, an effect that cannot even be calculated. Throughout its history, NHU has made Hispanic education a priority, one of only three accredited universities in the United States to have done so. It's also been recognized for remarkably high retention and graduation rate for Hispanics. In 1997, NHU formed a unique joint enrollment agreement, which would allow it to partner with San Jose State University to increase the number of Hispanic college graduates. I was at the ceremony where Dr. Corrette from San Jose State and Dr. Cruz from National Hispanic University signed the documents agreeing to have credits from one university or the other apply for the student's uh, bachelor's degree. That was a marvelous idea and shows the kind of collaboration, the kind of partnering that this valley, I think, is known for. In 1997, NASA partnered with NHU so Hispanics might be better prepared for careers in math, science, and engineering. In 1998, the school also prepared more Latino bilingual teachers in Northern California than any other four-year institution. Since its founding, 13,000 students have been touched by the school. In that time, more than 1,100 diplomas and certificates have opened doors of opportunity to these bright, dedicated people who now contribute to the community as bilingual teachers, managers, entrepreneurs, and other professionals. In 2001, the David and Lucille Packard Foundation awarded NHU a $2,275,000 grant, yet another expression of the kind of public and private support NHU can inspire. Now, with an expanded campus, that dream, with your help, will soon become a part of the proud history of the National Hispanic University.